Wayne Nance had been stalking Kristen Wells, and when Douglas Wells surprised him outside the couple's home, Nance wanted to borrow a flashlight. When Doug turned around, the killer hit him with a gun in the back of the head. Dazed and bleeding from a deep scalp wound, Doug struggled with his assailant from the garage into the house. Amazed that Doug was even still alive, Nance pounded him with a length of pipe and finally prevailed. After grabbing Chris and tying her to the bed frame in the couple's bedroom, Nance took Doug to the basement and tied him to a post. Doug, a gunsmith by profession, had earlier placed an antique lever-action savage rifle near his workbench in the basement. He knew that if he could get to it, he and his wife might have a chance. Bound and beaten nearly to death, was stabbed by Nance in the chest with an oak-handled kitchen knife, puncturing one of his lungs.